Well, that's, is there a is, is there a particular cheer? I mean, like you know, obviously in Australia, we you know, I've got the, the good old very uh, language rich Aussie 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 oi oi oi. Mm -hmm. Boring. Chee 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 chi, le le le. It's not exactly amazingly exciting either. Uh, or Chile, uh, or Poland. Uh, what do you what do you call? What do you cheer in Lithuania? Uh, we have a cheer called the law. And for those who were with me with the uh, cheer squad at the Australian Open, we just we stand up, chest high, and it's uh, below, cheers below, 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 below. So it's kind of like an Aussie, 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 yeah, also, yeah. It's just, I guess not as not as poetic. Does that <laughs> translate into anything, or is it just like Aussie, 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 oi, 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 it's nothing? Well, the word means good, so I guess for an Australian to translate, it's just good. Good, 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 good. Yeah. It's nice in the countries when it comes to sporting cheers, just can't be bothered. That's what, that's what I'm learning, it's just like, yeah, we're winning, oh, we better think of something. Yeah. Um, does this mean I've got a, I've got a barrack for the Lithuanian teams up there on the track wheels, does it? This may be a problem. So you have to be non-biased, Heather. Do I? Well, you're a volunteer working at the event. Well, I'm only in the, accredit I'm in the accreditation centre and you're in the media press. <laughs> She's promised me to come and translate if I get stuck. <laughs> yes, perhaps. If she's not busy translating Spanish people. Um, oh dear, yeah, yeah this will be interesting. And possibly Japanese. And of course, I'm not allowed to speak French or I get in trouble with my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what, he's going to be there? Oh, no, no. I don't speak French with him, therefore, if I speak it with um, people for work, <laughs> I'm in trouble because I refuse to speak it with him, which makes it interesting. But we are talking about cycling, not me and my languages and things like that. So um, the Lithuanian cycling team, do we, if people are sort of there going, what, what colours, what are we looking for? Yeah, do we know what their kit looks like? Oh, well, um, their colours are yellow, the nation's colours are yellow, green and red. And um, in, in the basketball, they're famous for just being green tops of a bit of the other colours, so the green army. Whereas the cyclists, as we saw in Geelong two years ago, tend to um, bring out the yellow with a mm -hmm. bit of red. Mm. Um, and that's been shown on the podium with um, with Simona Kripuchete, who, um, who along with um, Anna Mears from Australia, mm -hmm. that's where the rivalry is on the track. So uh, <laughs> for me, living in Australia, working for Lithuania, I don't know who I'm going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then throw Vicky Pendleton in there. Oh yeah, the, the Brit. The Brit. She she uh, had some rivalry on uh, in the track championships hosted in Poland. That of course was the championships where Simona got her second um, world record. I believe it was for the flying 500. And so just for the fact, the fact that a Lithuanian who has two world records in any any sport is coming to a uh, the Melbourne and Geelong area. That's that's why we're here. And, yeah, that's why we're going to cheer. Yeah, I think it's great because, I mean, you know, when it comes to all the sport, I mean, in Australia, we don't really have Lithuania up there as a, no. as a country to watch. Never in cycling, ever. Well, I, I mean, what other sports is there a, a big sort of between Australia and Lithuania? Um, basketball, like I said, um, a, a few Olympics, Australia's been jumping for joy. Um, the experts have been jumping for joy defeating Lithuania because they know how hard they are at basketball, whereas anyone watching at home from Australia think, well, here's a country the size of Tasmania geographically, the population of Melbourne, um, what's the big deal? So uh, for basketball it's a big deal, but for cycling hopefully we can get, we can start an Australian rivalry and keep mm. it going for the years to come. Well, we'll at least try to get this, you know, we'll start small, we'll start in Geelong, mm. cycling, in the track, we'll get the, uh, the, the Geelong Australian Lithuania rivalry. Good Try to work that out. Yeah. That sounds good. And I'll tell you what, I can't believe I've forgotten to uh, mention this. For those that were uh, at the Tour de Tour of Geelong last August, mm. the women's um, winner, Rebecca Wysak, she's actually half Lithuanian herself, oh. and her, her father, Alex, is the president of the um, Geelong Lithuanian sports community. So oh. there's the little Geelong link yeah, right there for you. It's a very it good little Geelong link. I like that link. Yeah. So the, the team that's over here um, at the moment, said it's the endurance team. The endurance team, that's correct. Um, are they commuting up to train um, in Darabin on the indoor or are they training around Geelong? They've been training around Geelong and they will be here until Saturday and um, for those who are listening... So that's Saturday next week? Uh, yeah, next yep. Saturday, not today. So. And um, for those who are listening, if you want to meet the um, 
the Lithuanian endurance team, and you, you are all welcome here in the studio. Um, the Geelong VTIS Sports Club will be having a barbecue Friday night at Pettit Park. Sorry if I'm advertising without permission, but no. six o'clock, come on down, meet yeah. some potential, maybe maybe we'll see them in the Olympics. Yeah, yeah that'd be wonderful. Try to um, spur them on. So bringing up the, the Olympics, this is getting a bit, a bit detailed, but do, do you know how many um, athletes from Lithuania have qualified for the Olympics? Do you uh, know their Olympic hopefuls? From, I know on the road cycling scheme, we have um, uh, the Rasa Leviete, she, um, like I said, she's come top two in the last um, uh, UCI road championships. And um, with the men, um, for both track and uh, and road, there's a bit of work to do. Mm. But like we were talk like you were talking about on your last interview, even the BMX cyclists have um, helped the Lithuanian women stand up as Vilma uh, Rimšėte claimed the most um, medals at last year's summer Universiad for Lithuania. That's in any sport, mm. claiming uh, two silvers and a yeah two silvers in uh, BMX.